All right, guys, there's a sunken barge or houseboat. Something down here. What are those two gray lines are? Let me see if I scoot back. There's some fish laying on it. But it starts right here where it's rounded. And I've hit it in several different areas, but it, it, I think it's a, a, an old boat. Not sure. But we're going to spot lock on top of it for 15, 20 minutes. And then we're just going to kind of drift down through here for a bit. See if anything wants to play. We had one fish early. They ain't had a bite since. I don't know where this. Hopefully they'll turn back on here real quick. But right, right about seven or eight o'clock, we hit a nice fish. Looks like there's a fish holding on top of it there. And I mean, this thing's pretty large. If you can see my waypoints here. I've got an edge marked everywhere. So generally, if I'm in any of those waypoints, I'm touching this st structure of some sort. Uh oh, got one going down. I'm trying to. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, no. <laughs> It'll be a good one. come off that old barge if ain't nothing happening right now because we ain't got him in we do not have him in yet he's coming up high he's coming up now he's coming under the boat he's gonna try that trick he's decent He didn't like that hide the web net, did he? That's our first anchored fish tonight. Up on this sunken house boat or barge. Let's see if we can get him in. He, um, he appeared to be bigger than he, than he is. Or he might just be big, I don't know. I ain't trying to get him to throw him out of his He's probably 60 pound range. <coughs> he took a chunk of that big old skipjack head. All right. Come here, Mr. Catfish. Open up. Come right out. There we go. Process messing with these big fish. It's a process. Oh, he's gonna be on the mean side. Yeah. Come on, I'm trying to put you back, buddy, but you're gonna have to. Oh. All right. 
There he is. So we're gonna put him back. Look, I got a fish in the line right now. Right there. All right, we're gonna put this boy back. And uh, hopefully we catch another. There you go. Whew. All right, we're on some action. Stay tuned. Some more fish visiting that structure. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll get us another doozy. Too. All right, guys, we come off of that. Uh, I was anchored up on that, that piece of structure down there, so I just, we didn't catch any more fish, so I just released the boat and started straightening my lines up and just drifting down, and we come across the, another side of it. It's pretty big, and this fish nailed it. But now we are kind of drifting. There he is. Put on a show, didn't he? fish right underneath us too here. Big nice fish that might get hit. Sad if I didn't get that hit. Look at it, and I had an angry attack at it. There he is, guys. Number two, we're still catching them at night. It's first part of September now. The big ones have been feeding pretty good on the Tennessee River. But it's just that time for them too. They're hungry. All right. Get another piece of bait on here. And I'll turn us loose again and we'll just continue to float down. This seems to be the best technique because like I say, there's a lot of grass floating in this lake and we anchored up. It wasn't too bad on that time because I was pretty much straight up and down, spot locked right on top of that structure. All right guys, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. It After it got dark, the wind kind of changed and uh, things just kind of laid down. They just kind of quit biting. I think they're starting to transition more into the daytime bite than they are night now. So I mean, we caught some early, but like I say, we've, we've, we've probably went two hours without a bite and it's getting right at midnight, but I'd gotta get up in the morning about six to go to another lake uh, for another day of fishing on the Tennessee River. So with that being said, thanks for stopping by and watching our videos and we hope to see you in the next one.